All right, so a little while ago, I did a video talking about what I had in my new backpack that I had taken traveling with me. And that was a long trip overseas and didn't really have what I typically keep in my tech bag. So I had a few friends ask what I keep in my tech bag on the regular. I actually just got back from a work trip and I thought this was a perfect time to go over what I keep in my tech bag. Now, before we get into this, I'm known to be an overpacker, so keep that in mind when I go throughout this bag. Um, and I did basically keep this exactly as it was when I left, uh, except one thing, but I will mention that when we go through it. So let's just start it. All right, so in my tech bag, in this front little pocket here, I normally throw my passport when my bag is like in the car and stuff in my wallet. Um, but I typically won't keep it in there while I'm walking around. These will stay in my pocket. Uh, but once I'm in my own car and stuff, I'll just throw them in here so that they're not uh, filling out my pockets. So I travel down to the US quite often for work. Lately, it's been about once a month or so. And you'll see that reflected in a lot of the stuff I carry. I usually go down for about five days or so. And yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right in here. So the first pocket is basically all of my cables. Um, I keep a wide assortment of cables. I have a great USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C. Uh, what else we got in here? I got a USB-C to lightning bolt in case somebody else needs a cable. I've got some receipts. Got more cables. I got a auxiliary cable. I got another USB-C cable. I've got a micro USB cable, another USB A to USB C, and then a bunch of post-it notes and a microfiber cloth. Um, that's usually all that stays in here. If I have medicine, I'll put that in here too. Um, but that is that front pocket. I like it in the front pocket because it's easy for me to access. Also because I travel around with so many cables, uh, TSA usually stops me and this is an easy area for me to show them. Now, if we go into the next pocket, top pocket right here is actually where I keep my main USB-C to USB-C cable and my 140 watt Ugreen charger. Um, I use this for both my work laptop my Steam Deck when it's with me, my phone. Uh, basically, I use this for as many things as possible. I do often bring my my laptop phone, uh, charger with me, my, my work laptop, but I often leave that one in the hotel. And then this is the one that I'll use when I'm in the office down there because um, I can charge my laptop and my phone with it at the same time. I also keep a bunch of pens. Um, I keep another little mini this is a 30 watt um, USB-C charger. Some pens, uh, an adapter, um, some USB sticks from Micro Center, and a micro SD adapter. Other than that, in here, I also keep snacks. Snacks are always good when you're traveling, especially when you get delayed, which happens often. And I also have a Ugreen dongle that I use quite often in here as well. Um, I use this with my laptop whenever I need to, and I also use it with my Steam Deck. Now, if we go into the side pockets, first side pocket, I keep a stick of deodorant because I like being considerate of other people's noses. And I keep my uh, very large power bank. I believe it's 28,500 milliamps or maybe 26,500 milliamps. It's a great power bank. I use it for everything. Again, this can charge my Steam Deck and my laptop as well. On the other side, if we get in there, I keep wet wipes. Another essential travel good right here. Some Costco wet wipes. Can't go anywhere without them. They're useful for many purposes. And I always suggest you travel with some wet wipes. All right, if we hop into the main compartment here, the only thing that's missing from this main compartment is my water bottle. It's got my company branding on it, so I don't want to have that in here. Um, 
but I would normally have a small, I think it's like a 750 milliliter water bottle. I have my Sony uh, WH-1000XM4s, amazing headphones. I use them all the time and they're perfect for the plane because they're noise canceling. They do a great job. When I travel with my Steam Deck, my Steam Deck will go in here. I didn't travel with my Steam Deck this time because I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to use it. But um, I do often travel with it and it has been a great addition to my work bag. As I mentioned, I have the charger for my laptop. In the little tablet pocket here, I usually keep my e-reader. So I have a uh, Kobo Libra H2O. Um, really, really good e-reader. I love this thing. I have a portable speaker for when I'm in the hotel room. Um, sometimes I just like putting on some music and I don't want to listen to it off my phone. So I'll have that. I have my mouse, which is a uh, Logitech MX Master 3S in white. I use a 3S in black with my main computer at home. So I have that. And an odd item, I have a lacrosse ball. And what this is really good for is using it as a massage tool. So if my feet are getting sore, if my back's getting sore, if one of my legs are getting sore, I basically will use my body weight on here. Um, and it really, really helps. It's very helpful. So I always have it in my work bag. Now, if we open up this compartment, we can see the final goods. We have my work laptop here. I have a, uh, I think this is a Razer. Yeah, it's probably some a Razer one that I got really cheap, like open box or something. Um, mouse pad, so that when I'm on, using like a glass surface or something, my uh, mouse still works fine. And then I keep all my papers in between those. And that's basically it. But uh, the only things that usually change in this bag are the Steam Deck sometimes does not come with me. Um, and when the Steam Deck does not come with me, sometimes I will bring an Xbox controller with me so that I can play at least Rocket League on my laptop. Um, but... My work laptop is not meant for games, and it honestly doesn't play games very well either, so I don't do that all too often. So yeah, that's really it for what Dimitri keeps in his tech bag. Um, again, I do keep a lot more cables than I really need, but I don't like packing and unpacking my bag constantly every single day when I go to the office and then back to the hotel room. So I like having extra ones that I can keep there, and then I like having extras in case somebody needs something, so that's great. And... I think I have a pretty well put together bag. If there's anything you want to comment on that I keep in my bag or any suggestions, or if you want to list some of the unique things that are in your tech bag, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. But with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like subscribed. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can also leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Simon Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you did want to check out that other video where I talked about the backpack that I took with me on my Europe trip this summer, you can go ahead and check out the video right here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.